video, you will see how to list all the PDF files from a subfolder in download directory or any other directory in your Android app. This is for API level 35 and 15. So first, let's see a demo. So say for example, I started this app and I want to uh, get the list of all the PDF files in a particular fol uh, folder. Okay. So over here, it by default it starts from download uh, folder because that's what I have set in the uh, initial U U oh, this one U U UD. But it seems like from the API Android 15 onwards, they are not allowing to scan the complete download folder because of privacy. I don't know if it's visible. Let me zoom in. So it may not be possible. So I will have to select some other uh, folder. Say for example, this is a subfolder inside that, and this I can select. Then I can click on use this folder, and when I click on this. It will ask me to allow the permission to access this particular folder. Once I click allow, it will list all the PDF files in this in the list view. So let's quickly see the code for it, how we can do it. So the best part is there is no, no change required in the manifest file, no permissions required to be given. And uh, yeah, so that's about manifest file. In the XML file, uh, the only thing what we need is we need a button to trigger it and the list view where we will list all the uh, files one by one. Okay, so in the code, uh, it's pretty much uh, straightforward. First, there are few class variables like list view adapters and all, and and then there we also need one is for activity launcher intent. So this is what uh, we launch our intent on directory picker uh, launcher. This you can name anything. It's just a class variable. And in the on click, first you assign all the class variables, and then in the button uh, on click, we will uh, start the method uh, open, uh, or you can name any this anything this you know, method. In this method, primarily it does is it creates an intent to open the document tree and also it gives the initial path. So that's what I was saying. It starts from the download because the initial URI is given for download and it launches its intent. So there it goes to this particular uh, method, what is inside this particular uh, class variable, and this will start this particular uh, result. So if this result is okay, then it will uh, what it will do is it will fetch uh, the tree URI. So the result will be okay basically. Uh, uh, when any particular uh, directory is selected. If not selected, it will just go to the else part here and you select no directory selected. So if it's successful, then it will go inside this and if the tree URI is not null, uh, then it will go inside this. Yeah, basically to update the permission, to grant the read permission and once it has it, it will go into this particular method. So if I go here, so this is the method where it will get the tree URI as an input. And in this method, it will just get the all the child URIs basically from this particular uh, tree URI, the uh, master one, and it will run through it in the cursor form and yeah, until the cursor is not null, it will keep on moving next and fetching the file uh, type and also MIME type but that we are not using much anyway and then it will just keep adding to PDF file list which will uh, will which will which display in the list will, uh, later. So yeah, it will keep on updating this PDF file list and if it's empty and all then <coughs> the respective message like no file forms and all those things will be uh, displayed and uh, otherwise yeah it will uh, just update this particular file list so if I scroll back up so this is a class variable uh, which is an array list and this will get written into list view over here in the on create this has been already done so the the moment the PDF file list is updated it will uh, update this list view accordingly so that's all I hope this video is useful to you I will provide all the code in my web page so please refer there thank you and have a nice day bye